I'm fat. I'm not beautiful. I'm too much. I'm not enough. I've never seen light between my inner thighs. This is the kind of mantra mantra that I have played throughout my life in my head. And one night I was with um, one of my best friends and my boss and she said to me, you know, I think we need to do a task, Jen. I think you need to go home, stand in front of a mirror naked and you need to look at every part of yourself, every part that you dislike, that you talk negatively to, that you don't think is inappropriate or is enough, and I want you to really look at yourself in the mirror and tell yourself that you love yourself, that you're acceptable, that you're enough, that you're beautiful. And this was the first time I ever thought my boss was crazy and she might need some medication, but she knew me really, really well and she knew that I was a perfectionist and I loved to do a task. So I went home and I went to bed, got up in the morning and I thought, you know, I better, I better do that task because she's going to know if I haven't done it and I better do it well. So I took off my robe, I looked in front of the mirror and I was like, yeah, you're beautiful. You're so beautiful, yeah, love you, love you, yep, yep. And then I thought, mm, she's going to know I haven't done it well. So I better really, really look at myself in the mirror. And I started to see the pieces that I did like that were making up the whole of who I am. And right at that moment, I heard a crack a really, really loud noise. And so I quickly put on my robe because you know, if it was going to be a true catastrophe, I didn't want to be naked. <laughs> so put on my robe and I took a look down my hallway and in my living room was one whole wall of glass, three panes of glass. And the centre pane was starting to crack, to snap. And I went down, and being the task-oriented person I am, I called all the right people and then I called my boss last and said, listen, there's a bit of a disaster going on at my apartment and I'm going to be late to work. And she said to me, you know, Jen, what were you doing? And I said, oh, I was getting ready for work. And she said, no, what were you doing? And I said, I was doing that love task thing you told me to do. She said, there's a message in this. I want you to sit down in front of this pane of glass and meditate on it. So, yeah, she's definitely crazy and she definitely needs medication. So I thought, but, you know, I'm going to sit down, I'm going to look at this pane of glass and I'm going to execute this task. So I sit down and I'm watching it and I look at the perfect panes of glass, either the side of the ones that's shattering and I notice how exquisite it is. The cracks, the way it's shattering is just beautiful. And as I look down, I see a little stone that had hit the lower left quadrant of this pane of glass. And I realize that that little bit of damage is what had created the shattering of this pane. So it's going snap, crackle, pop. And I become fixated on how beautiful and awe-inspiring this damaged piece of glass is. And I start to realise that everything that I've been through in my life, my childhood, being teased, the self-criticism most importantly, everywhere that I felt that I had failed, that I wasn't enough, and in most cases sometimes too much, because I had always wanted to be five foot four, blonde, blue eyes, skinny, quiet, <laughs> um, not so passionate, and there was no way that I, I could fit that mould. So when I, looked, when I looked at this pane of glass, I started to realise that what I perceived to be my damaged part was truly... Um, something beautiful, that it created something that was unique. 
and um, uh, you were unable to redesign it in any way. It, 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 it was truly me and truly unique. And that I had these two beautiful, perfect pieces of glass either side. But it wasn't as interesting as what this centerpiece was becoming. So as I felt the true weight of that realization, I closed my eyes and I gave gratitude to every circumstance that I'd been faced with, with every negative thought that I had ever felt or received. Um, and I just sat with that. When I opened my eyes, the light had changed. And now the sunlight was streaming through my windows. And when the light came through the two perfect panels, it, it lit up the room. My, my living room was really bright. But when the light hit the shattered glass, the cracks, there were rainbows that spread throughout the room, all over my skin. And I realized in that moment that if you let the light shine through your cracks, I promise you, rainbows will appear. Thank you.